Wild Jobs Namibia with Rudy and Marlies is proudly sponsored by Vintuk Lager. Namibia, land of the brave. Brave men and women who dedicate their lives to protecting a country of harsh terrain, ancient cultures and vulnerable wildlife. Namibian conservationists Dr. Rudy and Marlies van Vieren are on a mission to travel the length and breadth of Namibia to meet these intrepid individuals and to witness the incredible work they undertake on a daily basis. These are the unsung heroes of Namibian conservation and these are their wild jobs. Vintuk and surrounds know Nankusi as a place where animals are taken care of, especially orphaned and so-called problem animals. I've received a few phone calls today. We've got loads of animals to pick up, from porcupines, a small spotted genet, um, leopard tortoise and a baby baboon. So I've got two cars full of people to help me bring them home today. Oh, are you guys ready? start at the furthest point from Nankusi and work their way back to try and keep the animals as comfortable as possible in the heat. For this reason, they'll also have to work as fast as possible. First on the list are the porcupines, and to catch a porcupine is not easy. The porcupines are kept in an old dam to prevent them from escaping. A lot of people think that porcupines can shoot their quills out when threatened, but this is not true. When they are in danger, they raise their quills to make themselves appear bigger than they really are, and will turn their backs on the attacker with the sharp tips of the quills pointing towards it. Mora! Mora, Ghanet. Mora, Ziggy. Ja. Aangenaam. Maar Lies, ek hoor jy het vir ons een paar ijstervarke. Net so, hulle moet huis nieuwe huis kry. Ah, wonderlik. Nou toe, kom ons gaan kyk wat die aangaan. Gaan klim daar in. Hallo. Hier is hulle binnenkant. Dit is sewe grootes en twee kleinkies wat sewe daar oud is. Ach, wonderlik. En jy sê, hoe lang het jy hulle nou al? Ek het hulle seker so by die vier jaar al. Ok. Hulle was op een slag net vier en dit is die ander vijf kleinkies wat hier geboren is. As die klink is geboor, is die oor like soos amper soos een mens oor. Ja, voetje hier op ons, hulle sê ons op achtervoet is een mens oor. So the plan of action is, the black cage is going to get grass in. This is going to be the capture cage inside the reservoir. Uh, we're going to transport them with that, try and catch them, bring them out of the reservoir into the red, red capture cage which also going to get grass in. That cage is too heavy to commute back and out in the dam. It's just too heavy. Um, try to put three into the smaller cage and four in the big one when we drive back. And then the two little ones will go into a little wooden box and that will go in the front of the car, aircon, nice and cold. Porcupines are the biggest rodents in Southern Africa. They normally spend their days in burrows and are active during nighttime. The burrows can be between rocks, in caves, or in an old artfark hole. They are mostly solitary. Sometimes they roam around in pairs, and if you're lucky, you might find a mother with her offspring. Their quills are actually large, specialized hairs, covered with thick layers of keratin. If one should fall out, 
another one grows in its place. The baby's quills are still soft, which makes it easier to catch them. Porcupines loaded, they head for the tortoises that also need a new home. Dion. Oh, en jij is Marlies. Marlies, ja. Oké, okay, Marlies, welkom bij ons. Dank je, man. Ik hoor jij de klomp scopa. Ja, ja, zo drie keer wat ik graag. Oh, Oké. Okay. En nou, uh, waar vanaf kom man? Man, ik heb zo jaren terug van een uh, opgetel laatste paar jaar okay. in gebring. Maar ik weet niet precies hoe oud is hulle nie. Okay. Misschien kan jij dit voor mij vertellen. Nou, kom eens kijken. Ja, kom eens kijken. Kom eens kijken. Kom eens kijken. Ja, op jullie he? kinders gaan zoeken. Waar is hulle allemaal? Waar is die scopaie? Om voor ons goed bring. Bring goed, laat ons kijken hoe oud is zijn. Kijk hoe oud is zijn. Wow, hier komen ook grote. Daar komen grote. Daar komen grote. Nee, klinkjes. Klinkjes, kulpijkjes. Ja, ja. Oké, okay, gewoonlijk kijken ze draaien om. Mm -hmm. Maniekjes is hoe onder. Maak een beetje jeugd toe. Uh -huh. Die wijfie. Die wijfie is op, zie jij? Wow. Dat eerkie. Oké. Okay. Ik krijg daar die gaikie. Oké. Okay. Nou, pensie is plat. Gelijk. Oké, okay, maar Lies, hoe oud is dit? Dit is dit is. Dit stoot is dus I would estimate them roughly, jeez, 20, 20 plus years old. Because mm -hmm. um, it takes them that long to actually mm. reach the size. But to be more accurate, you count it from the top to the mm -hmm. bottom. And every little line is a lifeline, like a tree. Okay. Exactly, and it is a year for our lives. Okay. Um, but you do get tortoises that get that old that you don't see any lines anymore. Okay. And it's amazing, yeah, how old they can actually get. Zachi, can you guys tell me how old they are? Twenty? Roughly twenty? Yes. Okay. In roughly 20 mm. years old. Yeah. So, roughly 20. Yeah, but it, you've done a good job. They look healthy. And, mm. Yeah, they look very good. 
thank you. Yeah, so we're going to release them on like we see. Yes. Wild Jobs Namibia with Rudy and Marlies is proudly sponsored by Vintuk Lager. Wild Jobs Namibia with Rudy and Marlies is proudly sponsored by Vintuk Lager. One animal species that Marlies receives a lot of at Nankusi is baboons. They're on their way to pick up a baby baboon whose owners wanted to have a better home. So this is the last stop of 15 animals in one day. And uh, it's been a hectic day, it's very hot. And uh, we've got two candidates here. It looks like a small spotted Janet. And uh, yeah, a little boy. Mm -hmm. But tell me more about the Janet. Where did you guys find it and why? Um, well, the Janet is, we found it in Bintuk, in a, uh, a bushy area, but because of the um, buildings and stuff, it just keeps <laughs> popping up around it. Um, the, the Jenna doesn't really have a place to escape to. So we thought that it's much more safe to catch him and have him being released in a wild area. Yeah. Because I don't think <laughs> he will survive the cars and the people. And yeah. Developments the always, so many different animals are getting in trouble because of development. But uh, he looks like an adult, so we'll reintroduce and basically overnight, and they, they bounce back. Mm. So yeah, and the insect majority is insect eaters, so it's good, very good. <laughs> okay, number one, <laughs> let's pop him in the car. He gets acorn treatment. This mm. guy. This is Spanish. In Spanish, does he speak Afrikaans or English? Uh, he speaks all kinds of languages. <laughs> <It's> like, oh. <laughs> he speaks anything. <laughs> all right. So, where did you find him? Um, some people brought him to me. They found him in Ooh, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. And they they found him tied up to a tree by his hand, and he had this huge gash in his hand, and he was burnt, and his hair was falling out, and he was half dead, <laughs> just oh. playing around. But so, he looks very good now. You know, He's done a really good job. So I thought I'd just take care of him until he's big enough to be with his own kind. And now he can well, we, it's going to be a traumatic day for him because mm -hmm. he's lost his baboon mummy and now yeah. he's losing you. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can see he knows something's going on. So if I'm, I'm going to take him, he's going to mm -hmm. scream a lot, yeah. but you have That's to come fine. and visit. Yes. You treat him as like a little boarding school kid. Mm -hmm. Give him time so that he can just wean a little bit off and then okay. you come for a visit. But they do good. Yeah. I'm sure they will. And I see he's got a whole bag of goodies. Yeah, I have a blanket <laughs> there and I put some scent on the oh. blanket so he <laughs> has a little comfort blanket. Oh, and you see my Oh, God. Kom maar, kom toch. Ons gaan nou mooi het plek toe. Jy gaan klomp, my kiesie. Het een kost, hy See, there are a lot of young baboons for this one to play with and many other animals to get to know. It is time to let the porcupines out of their cages and into their enclosure. They won't be released into the wild yet since Marlies first wants to make sure they are healthy enough. Thank you. 
Unfortunately, there are a lot of volunteers to help. temporary enclosure is relatively small. For some of the porcupines, it will be the first time that they will feel grass under their feet. Soon, they'll be able to forage for their food in the felt. They are mainly omnivorous, preferring roots, bulbs and fruits that have fallen from trees, but will eat meat from time to time. When they are stressed, they beat their feet on the ground. To everybody's surprise, another porcupine was born during the relocation. Wild Jobs Namibia with Rudy and Marlies is proudly sponsored by Vintuk Lager. Wild Jobs Namibia with Rudy and Marlies is proudly sponsored by Vintuk Lager. For the tortoises, there is a lot of lucerne at Nankusi, providing them with plenty of food the whole year round. South Africa has the richest diversity of tortoise species in the world, with Namibia lying second. All six species that occur in Namibia are endangered. The little baboon quickly made new friends and is happy in his enclosure. Small spotted genets are very adaptable and this one is released into the wild. Here it will find insects, small rodents, reptiles, birds and sometimes wild fruits to eat. Normally solitary, they are occasionally found in pairs. 
They're not seen often though, since they are nocturnal, lying under cover during the day. It is supper time for the porcupines in their temporary home. So the plan with these porcupines is we're going to keep them in the Colosseum, it's a cement cage, just till the babies are big enough, um, because at this stage they're supposed to have a den where the babies grow up, and when they're big enough, they can follow the parents at night to go and have food and look for roots and whatever. Um, so the plan is just to keep them here till the babies are big enough, around about two to three weeks, and then they, they can go with their family. We're gonna monitor them daily to make sure these babies are drinking, they're not getting weaker. And uh, yeah, so we hope and pray for the best and get them out. Wild Jobs Namibia with Rudy and Marlies is proudly sponsored by Vintuk Lager.